Vitamin D deficiency clearly linked to inflammation. Hey there folks, neuropathy and balance problems. Anyone suffering from neuropathy and balance problems, extremely inf uh, good information, found it very useful. Uh, enough that I felt like I should stop what I'm doing, which is preparing for an up some upcoming seminar that I'm gonna give, and I'm looking at medical research on some of the content, the new content that I'm gonna go over. And I get this peer-reviewed medical journal. This is still one of the ones I get in print sent to my house. I got this about three days ago in the mail. Two days, maybe two days, what doesn't matter. Clinical Endocrinology News is the name of this one. Go Literally go to the first page, article on the first page. How awesome. Vitamin D deficiency clearly linked to inflammation. Let me tell you why this is important if you have neuropathy. Um, there is conclusive research, in, including this study, that shows uh, vitamin D levels and neurodegenerative diseases, or high inflammation and in neurodegenerative diseases. By the way, this study was done from the, or it's a study, yeah, by the International Journal of Epidemiology. Sorry, the print was really, really small there, and I don't see well. But anyway, here are a couple key takeaways. So um, high inflammation, vitamin D deficiency clearly linked to inflammation. High inflammation can cause nerve damage or keep nerves from healing. That's why this would be of importance. A um, couple key points here. The findings suggest that improving vitamin D status um, can mitigate, mitigate the risk or severity of chronic illnesses. Uh, go on, go on, go on. Here's the point. Here are the examples of chronic illnesses. Basically, how our immune system works, and they go on to say, could be imp important in preventing uh, and reducing, reduce the risk or severity of chronic illnesses with an inflammatory component such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurodegenerative conditions, and others. Pretty much encompasses all chronic conditions, but the big takeaway is, uh, neurodegenerative, neuropathy is neurodegenerative. So news, I don't, I'm not trying to be smart, Elk. I was going to say newsflash, and I don't mean it out of context, but it is, neuropathy is neurodegenerative, meaning it's uh, unfortunately only going to get worse unless there's proper intervention. Most of our patients that we work with not only have neuropathy, most of them have cardio cardiovascular disease. Um, I'd say this is a, a mere guess. Half of them have diabetes or autoimmune conditions, so et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is really important because it's so simple to check your risk here. See if this is actually a factor with your neuropathy and or your balance problem from your neuropathy. Uh, two things you can do, very simple. Ask your doctor that's doing your blood work to check your vitamin D level and run your CRP. CRP is the inflammatory marker that's referenced in this study. Um, it's Even if it's not, even if it's new to you, the word CR you know, CRP for an inflammatory marker, it's not new. It's very common. Uh, it's, it's usually done. I don't want to speak for your docs, let them, but all you have to do is ask them. It, these are, this is very common to have these two uh, markers as they're called when you get your blood work done, get these things checked. And you would see if this is important in, in or playing a factor in your neuropathy. By the way, um, high CRP would be above a one. On, on the you don't you don't have to remember this it'll it'll clearly state it on the lab report that you get back on the lab analysis it'll say what high is so above one you have um, a risk of a cardiovascular event like heart attack or stroke Ab uh, uh, above two is an average risk and above three is a high risk okay again you don't have to remember that but that's what they mean by high inflammation and they also they uh, on vitamin D they said the cutoff was 50. So you want your vitamin D level at 50. Now that's going to be confusing for some of you because when you get your lab analysis back, depending on where the lab is from in this geographic region, I'm doing this from recall, but I won't be very far off because I look at this all the time. Um, they won't call it deficient until it's below, depending on the lab, below 35 or 30, 25, 20. So the range of deficiency could be, usually it's between 20 and 30, which is ridiculously low. Even if you don't have neuropathy, that's really low. I don't, I don't understand it. Doesn't matter. Uh, I would say uh, all the studies that I've read would say above 50. 50. Some say 60. So 60 to 80, 50 above. 
This one set, this one references 50 and above. So big deal, big deal. Cardiovascular disease, autoimmune conditions, neurodegenerative conditions, immune, your immune system, immune support. In short, our, our immune systems don't work without adequate levels of vitamin D. So this is, honestly, it's not surprising. It's not so, I mean, there's, we're talking about an inflammatory study and in how it relates to nerves and nerve healing or nerves getting worse, um, neuropathy. So if you have any questions, want more details, give me a call, Dr. Ryan K. Lewis, DC, Missouri Pain Treatment Center, 1-855-FIX-FEET. That's 1-855-F-I-X-FEET. Um, if you'd like to attend a seminar, give us a call, 1-855-FIX-FEET. If you want more information that's like this, get on our email list because I send this out to people on our, on our email list. Um, get on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, subscribe to one or both of those, and you can get information like this on a regular basis. So I hope this is informative for you. If you need anything, let us know. Take care. Bye.